This project is about interacting with wild dolphins through improvised dance. Physical contact is rare with the dolphins, um, although physical contact is very much a part of their dolphin-dolphin interaction. You see them touching all the time. They touch flippers just the way that we might hold hands. They rub each other with various parts of their body. Very tactile, um, lovely communication between dolphins. With the dolphins, the contact is really the eye contact. So if you can really lock eyes um, with a dolphin, they seem to understand um, curiosity, friendliness, uh, an interest in doing something together. We're swimming along next to this dolphin who's got usually one eye because <laughs> their eyes are on the side of the head and so you're usually next to them, a little bit behind them because they can see behind them. They seem to know that you cannot see behind yourself so they stay just a little ahead. They make eye contact in one or another way and then you're just moving together very much like contact improvisation. A lot of times when you enter a dance, um, the first thing that you're doing is moving in a similar way to signal to your partner that you want to engage. And um, again, the language there seems to be very similar. You dive down, they dive down, or they dive down and you dive down, and soon you're in a kind of swirling dance together that's based on this eye contact. It's amazing how accommodating they are. Um, that's part of uh, this sort of leader-follower relationship that develops. They often, they often feel like they bring you up to the surface before you know you even have to breathe. Um, so that's one really magical part about it. I think on the biggest scale, um, the realization that we have these equals in the ocean um, has a really, you know, is gonna raise this sort of profound question. It certainly does for me that um, if we're not the most intelligent or the highest or the most evolved creatures on the planet, um, then do we have the right to be using all our planet's resources as if they were really just for human beings or should we think, be thinking about things in a different way? There are places in the world where dolphins are still hunted for food. We would certainly like to see that stopped all over the world. Um, dolphins are kept in captivity for entertainment. Um, we'd like to see that ended. Um, all over the world, we're also polluting our oceans. We'd like people to be thinking more about what's going in the oceans, whether it's mercury or PCBs. or Because the dolphins are top predators, they tend to accumulate these toxins, um, and many of them are showing up quite sick. So those are the kinds of things that we hope that people will think about um, by understanding um, how interactive and creative and generous and, and uh, amazing the dolphins are.